Uh, another time rift. Uh, I don't know, man. We might just have to do those time rifts in our own separate video, just because the fact that uh, the fact that these levels take so long. All right, so where should we go next? I actually haven't thought that far ahead yet, so, uh, hmm. I guess we could probably go and do the fire area next. Am I filling the fire area? Uh, yeah, I guess. That sounds pretty good right about now. That sounds like a good step up from the uh, windmill area. So, let's go! Uh, as we just casually fly by lava falls, you know. Sizzling lava split. Uh, okay. This place is great. Oh, it's even hotter to the right. Well, to the right is a timepiece, but I think I want to go and see what's going on. In the, in the left, and the uh, left path. Again, and the game is actually now requiring us to do platforming off of uh, enemies. If I remember correctly, I think this area is just a side area. I believe so. So I don't really. Oh, maybe I do need to actually do this one because it does have a horn I need to blow. So. This way doesn't lead to any peaks. Yeah, idiot. Why are you going down here? It's not like we need to experience more gameplay or anything. <laughs> um. Oh. I think here is where you actually need to use the uh, time stop hat. But I think once you hit this wits, the uh, bridge stays open for a couple of seconds. So. Yeah. Pretty sure if you don't cross the bridge in time, it will just kind of drop you off and you have to go back and try it again. Oh, what? Okay, where does this actually lead to? Oh, you had to hit the switch in, in the time limit. Okay. Well, what if I just do something like this? And instead of having to go up, I only have to go down. It looks like you cannot even progress past this area if you don't have the time stop hat. Very interesting. Very interesting. In my memory, I kind of just associated the time stop hat as being something that you didn't really need. Like, it's like a... It's like an optional hat that is only there to kind of make things easier for you. But I suppose it is needed here. Uh, we can go this way to get the thing on top, or we can go out of way. Or we can go out of our out of our way even more. I said that weird. I don't know what I'm trying to say actually. I think I wanted to say we can go out of our way even more, but uh, I think I got messed up a little bit. Hmm. I remember this puzzle. You can't get past here. Because when you hit the switch, it opens that door. It only opens them up. It only opens them up one at a time. So you can do this. And our only reward is a rip token. All right. 
Oh, I suppose it's always good to go in and get those out of the way. Uh, but like I was trying to say in the last video uh, about the yarn balls, is that when it comes to 100% in this game, I am fairly confident that those rip tokens and y extra yarn balls are not needed to 100% this game. Um, oh boy. You gotta hit all of these buttons within that time limit. Oh, at least it starts over. Uh, can I make it? Yep. Ah, okay. So yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm fairly confident that any of that extra yarn or rift tokens does not count towards a 100%. Mystifying Time Mesa. Oh. It's like even the name in the area kind of gives away that you need the Time Shop hat. Oh yeah, and this area was just completely optional because the only thing that you got by going over here was just this little gift. In fact, the only thing that you actually need to collect are the, uh, are the relics. The reason why you need to collect the relics is because once you collect all of them in the set, they open up a uh, time rift. So is that everything here? Yeah, looks like it. So this area was completely optional. And it was just a time waste. But that's fine. Playing more of this game is always fine by me. Now we can actually get back to the lava area. So yeah, it is pretty weird how the only things that you... <laughs> that accent, man. It's, it's weird that they only require you to collect a relics and that's it. As long as you get all the yarn to craft the final hat, you don't need any more pieces of yarn. And all the other presents that you find are just rift tokens. And those rift tokens are only there for you to collect more prizes. Ember Summit. There is one treasure chest here, apparently. I think the music's changed a little bit. It kind of became more uh, lava themed. Or my, that might just be my imagination or something. Uh, don't jump up there. Uh, anything else going on up here? Not really. Oh, hey, look, a uh, telescope. Uh, looks like our, uh, looks like our timepiece got... Somehow got... S uh, stuck on top of like a giant lava cake or something? I don't know. I don't know what that thing is. Uh, at least this, <laughs> at least this uh, house has smoke coming from it, but I kind of suspect because it's on fire. Not because there's actually a fire in a fireplace. that it for this place okay all right just kind of checking even though I don't have to but it's always nice to wait a second what about going over there what's going on over here I th actually I think that's where the boss is I think once you uh once you activate the boss you actually come over here and fight him over th on that area huh I completely forgot about that. 
If you remember what happened at the last time when we completed the windmill, we had those weird uh, purple flowers actually sprout, and it kind of like infected, and like it infected one of the uh, goats. Here is the lava cake. So I guess it is called a cake. This is the lava cake. Yeah, I know. I just saw the, the title. Oh, you just got them pretty cool. This is the lava cake. It's nice that there's a little pond before we have to get to the uh, giant lava confectionery. I like the music. I've actually kind of never really stopped and listened to it. Okay, come on. Hey, look, it's one of these cannons from uh, Mafia Town. Actually, speaking of Mafia Town... Uh... <laughs> well, I don't know. Don't you guys live here or something? Something you know? Yeah, like, speaking of Mafia Town, uh, now that we actually have this Time Stop hat, we can actually go and do the final act, we can actually do, go and do the final act of Mafia Town. If you remember, I said that, uh, I said that we wouldn't be able to, to come back and complete that until a long time. And well, this is a time that we could complete it. The thing required to beat that is uh, is this hat. Oh, don't mind if I do. That was really dumb of me. This oh. is clearly a safe place for a child to be. <laughs> clearly, it definitely is. Clearly, this is a safe place for a child to be. Oh, I could not agree more. I mean, this is such a safe place. Lava on the floor, lava on the ceiling. Come on. Every child would love to go around and explore this area. Fun times all around. Uh, that way is progress, and then what's over here? Treasure. Oh, treasure, huh? Yeah. Well, I can't pass that up. Even if it's gonna like extend the video out, and we don't need it. Uh, what's going on? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, gotta do it again. Very tricky. Game is starting to expect a lot from us. But to be fair, it should. I mean, this is the last world and all, so... Anything they basically th uh, throw at us is fair game. Nice, nice, rip token. Oh, was that was that was that all here? I guess so. Huh. Why did I think there is more to that? Huh. I think I spy some treasure. Oh, I already had this on. Whoa! Listen, buddy. <laughs> Is there anything that give me health in his graves? No? Okay. Oh, get away from me, flying squirrel. What are you even doing in this place? is a thing over here. Oh, is this a knife? It is a knife. I don't think I ever realized that. 
I mean, they did call this, they did call this a lava cake, so I guess this is like a knife that's supposed to be cutting the cake. <laughs> but I don't see why you would actually have an actual knife here. Oh, that, that's pretty funny. I, I don't think I realized that the first time. There is an actual knife in a lava cake. Anything going on over here that... No? Okay. It's the final area? Looks like it is. <laughs> what is with Hacker only having to climb... And having to, like, climb up these... Obstensibly large... Uh... Structures. Oh no! Uh, oh well. <laughs> it's bound to happen. I don't even know if ostensibly is a word. I just started saying it one day and it sounds right. Uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and skip everything. <laughs> We have cleared the lava cake. Um, let's go ahead and head back to the hub real fast just to see what Hacker has to say about that lava cake. Because I remember. When I first played through this game, I remember going back to the hub, seeing what a journal had to say about the uh, windmill, but I don't think I ever... I don't think I ever went back and saw what he had to say about the... Uh, about the lava area. Day 21. So hot. Too sweaty to write properly. Why is there a cake made of lava? I hope the next time piece fell somewhere cold. Well, I don't really want to do the cold one quite yet. Oh, oops. So... I kind of want to save the cold one for the last 